U.S. John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, is the second Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier built for the United States Navy. The ship was launched on 29 October 2019 and christened on 7 December 2019. U.S. John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, is the second Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier built for the United States Navy. The ship was launched on 29 October 2019 and christened on 7 December 2019. In 2009, Arizona Congressman John Shattuck proposed naming either CBN-79 or the subsequent CBN-80 as Barry M. Goldwater, after the late U.S. Senator, also from Arizona. In 2009, Arizona Congressman John Shattuck proposed naming either CBN-79 or the subsequent CBN-80 as Ferry M. Goldwater. After the late U.S. Senator, also from Arizona, the 35th President of the United States, who served in the Navy during World War II, she will be the third Navy ship named after members of the Kennedy family an aircraft carrier named John F. Kennedy, succeeding USS John F. Kennedy, which was active from 1915 January 2009. Huntington Ingalls Industries Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding was awarded a $374 million contract for design work and construction preparation for John F. Kennedy. On 30 September 2010, Northrop Grumman announced that preparations were underway to begin construction. And on 25 February 2011, the Navy conducted the first cut of steel ceremony at Northrop Grumman in Newport News, signaling the formal start of construction for John F. Kennedy. Kennedy was originally planned to be completed in 2018. This was extended to 2020 after Secretary of Defense Robert Gates announced in 2009 the program would shift to a five-year building program so as to place it on a more fiscally sustainable path. By late 2012, delays had occurred in construction and the Navy Department was investigating extending the construction time of both enterprise and John F. Kennedy by an additional two years, which could delay the carrier's entry into service until 2022. Or, in September 2013, the Government Accountability Office recommended delaying the detailed design and construction contract for John F. Kennedy until programmatic shortfalls are sorted out. The Navy and Defense Department have rejected the recommendation. The Navy faces technical, design and construction challenges to completing Gerald R. Ford, including producing systems prior to demonstrating their maturity to meet required installation dates. Gerald R. Ford had costs increase by 22% to $12.8 billion, and additional increases could follow due to uncertainties facing critical technology systems and shipbuilder underperformance. Risk is introduced in the Navy's plan to conduct integration testing of key systems at the same time as initial operational test and evaluation. One action the GAO says could be taken to ensure Ford-class carrier acquisitions are supported is conducting a cost-benefit analysis of required capabilities and associated costs. <laughs> Placed coins each embossed with quotes from President Kennedy and parts of the ship's motto. Caroline could not be present, so the order was given via radio for the crane operator to lift the island and set it down on the deck over the ceremonial items and entombing them in the ship's superstructure. The ship reached 100% complete on 11 July 2019 with the installation of the upper bow and launch deck consisting of the ship's two forward catapults.
On 1 October 2019, the ship's crew was activated for the first time as pre-commissioning unit John F. Kennedy at a ceremony aboard the vessel at Newport News Shipbuilding on 29 October 2019. Newport News Shipbuilding began flooding the dry dock where John F. Kennedy has been under construction. The process of filling the dry dock with more than 100 million U.S. gallons of water took place over several days, and it marked the first time the ship has been in water. Once the ship was afloat, she was moved to west end of the dry dock. The ship was christened on 7 December 2019 by Caroline Kennedy, who reenacted the bottle bash she did when the first John F. Kennedy was christened 52 years earlier. On 1 October 2019, the ship's crew was activated for the first time as pre-commissioning unit John F. Kennedy at a ceremony aboard the vessel at Newport News Shipbuilding on 29 October 2019. Newport News Shipbuilding began flooding the dry dock where John F. Kennedy has been under construction. The process of filling the dry dock with more than 100 million U.S. gallons of water took place over several days, and it marked the first time the ship has been in water. Once the ship was afloat, she was moved to west end of the dry dock. The ship was christened on 7 December 2019 by Caroline Kennedy, who reenacted the bottle bash she did when the first John F. Kennedy was christened 52 years earlier. In November 2020, Hi, uh, are absolutely liking that we're looking to weigh and train towards and be focused on. I mean, in our specific location in the United States in the lower 48 is primed to be able to deploy and, and respond to any of those locations. So we're not looking to build and then figure out the contract announcement. The single phase delivery approach is adopted to meet both fleet requirements and a congressional mandate of ensuring that CBN-79 is capable of operating and deploying Joint Strike Fighter F-35C aircraft before completing the post-shakedown availability as codified in Section 124 of the Fiscal 2020 National Defense Authorization Act. The ship is projected to begin testing her electromagnetic aircraft launch system in 2022 and her combat system in 2023. In the same year, the U.S. Navy awarded a contract worth almost $400 million to HAI for upgrades to the ship's flight deck, island, and weapon systems. She is scheduled to be delivered in 2025.